Hey guys, this is Jamin bringing you another key replacement video. We're working on an ASUS ROG uh, GL series computer today. Uh, and we're, we have this palm rest out so you can see why we're replacing a key and not the whole keyboard. Uh, as with many keyboards in these computers, they are called French inset keyboards. As you can see, they're held on by plastic rivets, not by uh, screws. So you cannot simply unscrew the keyboard, put a new one on, screw it down securely. You'd have to rip all these up, break them all, and then your new replacement keyboard is just never going to be as secure. So that's why we recommend, if at all possible, replacing individual keys on this keyboard uh, rather than the entire keyboard. And, and obviously rather than your entire palm rest, which could get pricey. Uh, if you can't find individual keys for sale on eBay or Amazon or uh, like sites, you may have to buy a used keyboard in which you can take the key off of that and then use it here and then you'll have spares. So in the video link below, we're showing you how to replace one of these normal size keys. In this video, we're gonna show you a, a larger key, your enter, backspace, space key. Uh, they look a little different inside, so we're gonna show you how to do that. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to check out the frequently asked questions in the description. It may save you some time. If your question isn't there and you need to ask it, uh, please leave a comment below. And we will try to get back to you a couple times a day at least, uh, usually. So we have a small flathead screwdriver. And the point here is we're going to go underneath your keycap, this top part. But we're going to go on top of the retainer clip, which is underneath it. Uh, so you can't see it right now, so I'll, I'll do it in the video. And then I'll show you what it looks like on, underneath afterward. So we're going to get it up under there, go nice and slow, okay, so we'll take that part off. So as you can see, my uh, screwdriver was on top of this white clip, but it was obviously un under this. So I'll zoom in, you can see what that looks like a little better. Uh, first of all, your keycap has this little um, metal retainer bar there, or stabilizer bar. And that kind of just snaps in place. It kind of wiggles back and forth, so it's kind of a pain in the butt to get back on, but that, that, that's not usually too much of a problem. And the clip here, they'll usually look like this. You'll see two metal clips toward the top, two metal clips toward the bottom, or in our case, one metal clip in, in the center on the bottom. Uh, the idea is to get this clip off without breaking it. Uh, this is the hardest part of this process. What we're going to do, there are two plastic little protrusions in each corner and those go into a, a metal hole on each side. So I'm gonna try to wedge it out of the metal safely without breaking it, and I'll show you what it looks like when I get it up. So just push in, there we go, and then push in the other side, there you go. Should come up semi-easily if you uh, do it correctly. So I'll show you what we're looking at here. So this is what I was trying not to break, is this little plastic part and this little plastic part. Those go inside of the metal on top. Very easy to break. Uh, again, if you do break this in this process, it'll probably be there. Uh, but now that we got it out, we're gonna put it back in safely. So we're gonna go in reverse. Instead of taking the top off first, we're gonna put the bottom in first. So line it up, get it kind of centered, kind of all lined up and centered. And then we're gonna to try to slide that top part back in on that side and then that one back in on that side. So off to the side a little bit, get it down in there, and then the other one. So snap, snap. Um, you can break it in this process. It's just easier to break it, taking it off, uh, but be careful when putting it back on as well because if you do break one of those, this will not sit in there securely and then your key's not gonna be secure. It'll, it'll flop around and, and fall off. Now, get this metal stabilizer bar as centered as possible. It doesn't snap right into place, so you got to eyeball it. So get it kind of as centered as you can. And then we're going to pop it down. And get it inside the, the brackets that it sits in. There and there. Then you just snap the rest back in place. And there you go. So all the larger keys will look somewhat like that. Your backspace, your shift. Uh, the plus and enter keys on the right. Um, your space key in, in the middle is going to look a little different. It's not going to have one large clip. If you look at the video for the small keys, you'll see what these clips look like underneath. It will have two of these on either side. Uh, that's the only difference with that one. But again, any questions or any comments, any way you get stuck, leave a message. Uh, we get back to you a couple times a day. Uh, like and share if it was helpful. And subscribe if you enjoyed Do It Yourself Computer Repair. Thank you for watching.